starting off the vlog in my car today. Uh, we are headed to the Plain of Six Glaciers Tea House and then the Devil's Thumb right after. It might sound like I'm really tired right now because it is pretty early in the morning and uh, I've been getting up early like all week long. I really need coffee right now, but we are headed to Lake Louise really soon and I will see you guys in the next clip. Today we are doing the Plain of Six Glaciers as well as the Devil's Thumb. We're doing it as a loop, so it's going to be super fun. It's really smoky out today. The lake actually looks really beautiful. So I'll see you guys soon in the next clip. If I should stay or be alone Won't you make up your mind? Cause I'm getting tired of overthinking every move you make And I can help you decide Who you're loving now And how I'm not quite there somehow My intuition says to give you up But my heart can't easily let you go I'm just waiting for you to fight But you won't even try to survive you Would rather keep it all inside And I can help you decide Who you're loving now And how I'm not quite there somehow My intuition says to give you up but my heart can easily let you go I try to tell myself this isn't love mm -hmm. But I hate that I never really know If I should stay or be alone If I should stay or be alone If I should stay or be alone which is on that side so it's a big big hiking day for us but it is a beautiful day today minus the smoke but I'm really glad you can see the view over here pretty clearly actually so yeah I'll see you guys soon in the next clip this hike the first time it wasn't quite this smoky uh, 
Um, unfortunately, the view is sort of distorted, but it's still really, really beautiful. We're gonna continue on after this to Devil's Thumb. But yeah, this is what the view looks like from here. It's amazing. So if you guys wanna do this one, like easier version, I suggest this one versus the next one that we're doing after this. The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am scramble on this one actually wasn't too bad to be honest like it was really steep the scramble section wasn't horrible so it's totally doable if this is gonna be your first scramble I highly suggest it and yeah I will see you guys soon in the next clip Bye. the last little hill and I realized that I left my tripod up here so I just ran back up to get it because it's a pretty expensive tripod oh it's right there can't believe can't believe that happened you guys yeah that was important so I'm really tired now the truth is a damn hard pill to swallow I'm reaching out, but all I feel is how low I wanna make you work, but all I do is make you worse The truth is a damn hard pill to swallow
guys so welcome to my after hike review for lake louise plain of six glaciers big beehive and devil slum loop so we made our own loop that day i don't think this is an official trail on all trails they are all each individual trails but you can connect them and do all three of them in one day and i'm going to be telling you guys my experience with it we started off the day pretty early in the lake louise parking lot i think we started at around eight and we started off doing the plane of six glaciers trail first because we wanted to go to the tea house but we didn't want to be in a rush to the point where we did the other two hikes first First, and then we were rushing to get to the tea house before it closed. Also, the Plain of Six Glaciers tea house is the furthest away, and then you could come back and do the loop. You could do the other two. Oh, and we also did Lake Agnes that day, like on the way down. So we started off with the Plain of Six Glaciers. And this tea house actually I liked better than the Lake Agnes one. I feel like they had a better selection of food and drinks and the food and drinks were not horribly overpriced. Whenever I go to Lake Agnes, I feel like I spend almost $20 on like one thing to eat and one thing to drink and this wasn't the case this time around i think i spent like ten dollars and the chocolate cake was so amazing it was the best chocolate cake that i've ever had it was moist it was fresh it was just so 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 good so if you are trying to debate on whether or not you should do the lake agnes tea house or the plain of six glaciers tea house definitely go for the plain of six glaciers one you could do both in one day if you really wanted to but yeah i recommend this one over the other one so the views were pretty good for how smoky of a day it was so it was pretty smoky the day that we went we could still see the glacier but it was covered with a layer of smoke in front of it next time if i was to do this hike again i would go on a clear day when there's no forest fire smoke at all just so i could see the full view i'm sure it looks 10 times more amazing without all the smoke in front of it but that was you know unavoidable at the time and then from there we continued on to the big beehive i actually did the big beehive quite a few years ago and i found it challenging this time around i didn't find it that challenging had a steady incline all the way from the plain of six glaciers to get there there was switchbacks though so it wasn't too bad and then from the big beehive we did the devil's thumb and this has been on my list for years and i 100 percent would do it again because the views up there were so so beautiful even with the smoke they were breathtaking like you could see lake louise and you could see lake agnes from the top and for this particular one it did require a scramble a little bit of an up climb in the beginning which was the hardest part of the scramble in my opinion going down that section was not that difficult at all that was the only kind of really true scramble section that was on the double sum and then the last part is just really 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 steep dirt so you must be really careful with that portion because it is pretty slippery it feels like you're going up a really really big hill of dirt and then once it plateaus then uh the last part of the hike it is also pretty steep but it's very short like it will take you five minutes from after the dirt section to get to the top and that part isn't slippery it's just like a lot of rocks so yeah that part was the highlight of my day it was amazing it was beautiful i loved it and then from there we went down the lake agnes road this loop was 22k i would rate this hike a 10 out of 10 because it had everything that i wanted it had a tea house with food like super amazing food it had glaciers it had a little bit of scrambling which i like it had a steep section that definitely got my calves burning and it was just an awesome all over trail so i really highly recommend doing this loop you can make your own loop you can do mount st perron you can do little beehive you can kind of go around like louise and do a few trails in the same day which is completely doable if you're comfortable with doing 20 to 30k in a day you can do a lot of trails in that area and lake louise is just it's beautiful. So the last thing I will note, you definitely do need a National Parks Pass to go to Lake Louise. You also have to pay for parking along with your pass, which is a little bit annoying. But if you bring enough people with you, it'll make the trip worth it. And Lake Louise in itself is worth it. It's beautiful. So that is pretty much it for my after hike summary slash review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.